Well, all right. Hello, everybody. This sure is a great way to start off a stream. Hello there. How are all y'all doing today? All right. So, since last stream, or should I say stream attempt, I fixed all the problems that we've had. At least I hope. I know I fixed our audio issues. So no more popping and stuff. The game does not seem to be lagging. Because Optifine is now working for 1.16. So Big Pog. Also, yeah. Hi everybody. Potato Plays. Busta. Oh wait, I gotta... Oh, oh, thank you, uh, Big Dog Daddy, for, for the sub. Uh, 99, pray for you. Oh, another sub! Uh, let's see, how, how would I say that name? <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you for the sub, Neil. Alright, so, today, originally we were going to be doing gold farm stuff, but I am just not in the right mindset to be making a gold farm. All the designs look too confusing to me, so, today we're going to be on the grind for this big old thing right here. Uh, my base. We definitely need to be working on the floor, it makes the place look very ugly. Thank you for all the follows, y'all. Um, and we need to trade for some glass for that ceiling up there. Uh, I'm gonna need some yellow wool. I think I have black wool already. Let me turn down the music a little bit. There we go. Alright. All right. What what should we what should we get to doing first? I think the floor needs the most work. So let's go ahead and get to get to doing that. We're gonna need some shroom lights, uh, blackstone, which we might be able to do a full panel of the floor with all that. We might even be able to do too. I forget how much it took for this floor right here. So we'll just have to see. Uh, oh, I forgot. Also, uh, I wasn't slacking while I was gone trying to fix stuff up. Uh, I was AFKing at the iron farm for a good while, so we got over three more stacks of iron blocks that we can put back in the storage system and poppies. But you have so many, I'm gonna have to put some in here manually. Look at how many. <laughs> Look at how many flowers we got here. Man. Uh, alright. Let's go ahead and move this up here. Gotta get a full row ready for my auto-scroller. There we are. Let's turn this into polished. Uh, where's my... There's my shovel. Alright. Of course, before we do... Any of this floor, we gotta clear out some of this leftover... Stuff lying around. Uh, was that it? Uh, oh, we got one more block. There we are. Alright, now we're all cleared up. So now, let me demonstrate to y'all how we do the auto-scroller. So, I fill up my entire hotbar evenly with all with the different kinds of blocks that I want, so that I can have a variant floor. Now, um, the way that I do this is unlike any other Minecraft player you'll ever see. So, 
I have right here a Sega Genesis controller. So I have it set up um, with a program that can bind the buttons to different things on my computer. So whenever I click the start button on my Genesis controller, it goes super fast through my hotbar. So whenever I place down a block, it's essentially random. Whatever gets placed down. Oh, here we go. All right. Let's go ahead and start placing down the floor. And we're also going to need to figure out a lighting scheme for this middle area. I, I already know kind of how it's going to look Ooh, in these little rooms over here. Alright, I say little, but it's 40 blocks by 40 blocks. Oh. Where? Oh, thank you for the resub. So, uh, what, what, do you, what do you guys want to talk about? While we're working here on the floor. Hmm. Oh, there it is! There's the resub! Yeah, thank you for the resub, uh, Darksmith. So, for those of you who haven't heard of Heart of Serm, which, um, there's a good chance you didn't, but you might have heard Doc talking about it on stream, because he is also part of this SMP server. Uh, what am I working on? I'm working on the floor of my mega base, which is still a huge work in progress, and I really gotta get to work on this. But, Heart of Serm is be Oh, thank you for the host oversight mod. Um... Heart of Serm is basically our own version of Hermitcraft. It works similarly. Um, we got a few rule differences. Uh, we're we're a bit more a bit more silly. Uh, we have these things called spirit blocks, and those are basically eh, how do how do I explain this? You can it's. It's a block that uh, you apply to yourself. It's um, kind of like a, a spirit animal. They they serve no purpose other than to be like to represent you or something. Uh, I'm not I'm not quite sure how to explain it exactly, but it, it, yeah, you know what? Hmm. Well, anyways, yeah, that, that's basically what Heart of Serm is. It's just, like, Hermitcraft, but with uh, me and a bunch of my friends. And, uh, actually, the name of the SMP is also, um, a mixing around of the letters. I forget what it's called. It's called, like, a, uh, not, not an anagram. Yeah, what, what's that called whenever something's just a mixing round of letters of another word? Uh, no, not acronym. It's, um... Oh, I gotta get some more blocks. Uh, yeah, I forget what it's called. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much Heart of Serm. Uh, we have ten people on the server... Oh, yeah, anagram. Yeah, are, are we sure? Yeah, 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 you're right, it is an anagram. Absolutely. 
absolutely not. I am definitely not <laughs> excited for going back to school. Summers kind of just flew by. Uh, oh, we gotta, we gotta sleep. Well, look who hopped on the server. So, in a little bit here, I think I'll give you guys a bit of a tour, because all you've seen so far of this SMP is just this. And this ain't really pretty. So I'll have to show you guys my uh, starter house, what other people got working on. Oh, I did leave some blocks around. Oh well. It's not an area we're working on. How about after I finish this little section of blocks, I'll go ahead and show you guys around the server, and we'll get back to working on this. Uh, yeah, once I once I run out of blocks here. Oh, gotta get a pickaxe. Yeah, big dog. Georgia is definitely hot spot right now. Uh, hot spot for what? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we already have an entire wall of that storage system done. And now with all that iron that I just got, we might even be able to finish it. You're standing in the way! We'll actually be able to finish a bit more than I thought with two rows. We definitely don't have enough blackstone right now, so we're going to need to go back to the nether. I just realized at some point we're going to have to get down there and get rid of that water, because we're going to hear a constant flowing all the time. In New York, we went worse the first. Ah... They keep on misplacing blocks. Yeah, it's gonna be nice to have a good flat surface here, because I am absolutely tired of looking at, like, a bunch of grass and stone and gravel and diorite. Oh yeah, I, I've seen many skeleton battles in my time. Actually, I started an entire war between um, creepers and the undead. Or no, I think it was between um, skeletons and creepers and zombies. Uh, I, I forget how it went. It happened in the shopping district. <laughs> You 
only bad part about having this area completely flat is that I think more mobs might end up spawning here. So we may have to place down a bunch of torches. Before we get all of our shroom lights. Man, getting shroom lights is actually really hard. Actually, getting all of the uh, uh, new big fungus stuff is hard. <laughs> that is, unless if you have an automatic blast chamber. Then it's easier than... Oh. There we go. I accidentally clicked the uh, scroll button before I got out of my inventory. Alright, we're just about out of blocks. I did it again! I clicked the scroll button before I <laughs> left my inventory. Alright, yeah, we're pretty much out of blackstone now. We got a bit more polished blackstone, but... The new nether is a bit crazy. Yeah, it is way whack. Uh, I'll put away that cobblestone too, and I'm gonna have to put grass in the storage system. We'll just let that go to the end. Stone. Yeah, we'll put the polished black stone in there. Alright, well, yeah, let me go and give you guys a tour of the server. Alright, so, first of all, we have pretty much the first thing that I ever built right here this is my starter house and man it looks different with the connected glass thank you Optifine I'm not sure if I like it more or less inside looks a bit messy right now because the storage systems kind of torn apart from moving stuff to the new one also yes that is a lot of viewers this is like way out of my average But, uh, yeah, you got all your essentials, the furnaces, the chests, which <laughs> we got a bit unorganized because I used to store all of, um, all of the base materials in there, but now we're moving them all over to the storage system. So I could probably, honestly, take out these chests and move them. Uh, this was, and I think still could be our stock chest. Uh, I put all the stock from my shop in the shopping district in there. Here we have signs from Aiden, uh, our Florida man, uh, uh, an offer for um, warped, warped stems, stripped ones specifically for his tractor base, which um, 25 diamonds, that's an underpayment. That is a way underpayment. <laughs> like seriously, on Hermitcraft, they're selling stuff like that, like the unstripped ones. Like, a stack of those for two diamonds. Each. Whew. Still getting a little bit of freezes every now and then. This is not as bad as the stream the other day, though. Uh, oh, we have my dogs. Here we have Steve. Here we have Miles. Look at me. There. And then over here we have Papyrus. Here we have our mine, which if we go down here, this place is huge. Like, look at this. Still got our haste to beacon down here. Instamine has tore this place apart. Like, man. Thing is, sometimes I gotta come down here and light the place up because Aiden doesn't whenever he instamines. He thinks it's unnecessary. And then he gets blown up by a creeper. But, there's Aiden's shulker boxes. Here we have the haunt wither. Which is, uh... <laughs> three haunt heads from when Aiden was bullying haunt. On top of some obsidian. This is Aiden's starter house. Which, uh, actually looks really nice. Well, what is that? <laughs> shulker head? Uh, here we have one of our unwanted guests, who escaped from over here. Look, guys, look. It's one of my greatest achievements. 
This is our villager breeder, and it's filled up again, isn't it? Oh boy. Anyways, yeah, this, uh, as the name implies, it creates villagers and carrots. Well, let me just show you how many carrots we have. We have pretty much a double chest more at the storage system, so... <laughs> I thought my solo mining system was crazy, holy moly. Oh, what was that? Oh, one of them just died from entity cramming. Goodness, we have a lot. That might be the source of some of our lag. Hold on, let me go get a flint and steel. Way too many villagers. Yeah, I kind of wish there was a way to shut the thing off. Come here, flint and steel. Wahoo! All right, your free trial of living has expired. Sometimes villagers, uh, wait, hold on, I'll, I'll, let me walk away to say this. All right, so sometimes villagers, um, escape from the breeder. Uh, so that, that's why we have some roommates. I think that reduced a little bit of lag. Got rid of at least, like, I don't know, 40 villagers. <laughs> Over here, we have the temporary villager trading hall. Got some villagers here. All of them are librarians. This one's Aiden's. You can tell because the trap door is put on wrong. Here, we have uh, our looting three villager. Also, this is the guy that gives me my glass. Here is the prize. This is my mending villager. Which, I, there was one point where I could get many books from him for an emerald each. Plus a book. This Aquafin, he's always like one emerald. And also, one ink sack for one emerald. That's a crazy deal. Over here, we have our pond, which has a waterfall. Which actually, I, fi I find it funny, B-dubs on the actual Hermitcraft server... He ended up doing pretty much what we have here on a larger scale. Um, but after we did this. Except he doesn't have gold in his pond. <laughs> so back here behind the waterfall, just like B-dubs, we have a portal. Which that leads to the nether roof. Over here we have our massive... Uh, Sugarcane farm. Hey, what's with those skeletons over there? What are you guys doing? Get off of my property. Get off of my sheep farm. Oh, I just realized I haven't checked my cactus farm in a long time. Come here. And I broke redstone. Oh, man. Put that back, and where's the redstone torch that I need? Oh, dang it, I messed it up. Um, we'll just have to borrow those from the cactus farm. Then we'll have to fix the cactus farm. All right, and... Boop. All right, now just give me back that... Oh, hey, there's the cobblestone. Hey, look at- I think we've gotten another stack of, uh, cactus since we were last here. So anyways, how this works is the cactus, uh, whenever it grows, it hits that iron bar. But it- but it doesn't want to be near other blocks, so it just breaks. And then that minecart down there collects it. I forget why I built that. Here we have the wool farm. I don't know how it's getting so unorganized in there. Because the hopper doing all the sorting. Uh, over there across the water we have John's unfinished house. Which is supposed to be a one to one replica of my house. And it's currently a mob spawner. Oh hey, there's some signs and dirt over there. Let's see what that says. 
green die? Well, yeah, I guess so. I think I made it to sell green die. Oh, hey, this is Haunt's death chamber. No one is allowed inside without his permission. Warning, danger inside. Go in at your own risk. I probably wouldn't die if I go inside, because look at me. I am stacked. Alright. And then over here we have the iron farm. Which is a simple design made by Raiseworks. And also the uh, villager breeder was a design. I think it was made by Impulse. Impulse SV. So anyways, you can see an action there. Uh, that zombie keeps on scaring those villagers. And um, that spawns in an iron golem. The zombie also attracts the iron golem who uh, jumps into the lava hole and dies. So, up there, that's our zombie friend. His name's Thread. How are you doing, Thread? Oh, you gonna let me see your name? Yeah, there we are. This is Thread. He is the third of the Ed generation. Don't ask what happened to the other two. Up here, we have a guy chilling on the side of a mountain for no reason. Uh, we have the old villager railway over here. Oh, that's a creeper. Mm. Get out of there. Here we have a beacon that Doc set up. And then, of course, Doc's home's down there. Oh, alright, alright. I'll go in your house. Hello! So this is uh, Doc's humble abode. He's got a security system, which I don't even have yet. Normally, I'm the one with the redstone bases. Mm, Alright, so up here we have things. Hmm. Ooh! What have we got in here? Hmm. So, this is, I'm assuming this is your panic room. Yeah. And I, I won't go behind the painting. I don't want to be rude. Oh, alright. So back here behind this painting, we have uh, super secret stuff. Which is nice. And he's also got an ender chest. I will be leaving now. I don't, I don't want to mess up your doors. Okay. Okay. And this is his dog, Jefferson. Oh, <laughs> you got trapped inside? Alright, so this that's uh that's our area. So now let's go into the nether portal into the shopping district. And speaking of the shopping district, I should probably check and see if I have any sales. Woo! Let's see if we made any money, 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 money since I was last year. Wonder if AJ has gotten any service. Actually, I guess there's not really any way to tell. But anyways, this is AJ's shop. Uh, AJ API, information and stuff. He sells information. Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here. There. Yeah. Oh, I still have the flint and steel. Oh, uh, this is one of my shops. This is my mini shops shop. So you can buy shops here. Basically, oh, my sword. I bought this land, and I'm selling land on the land for a cheaper price. 
except I make profit. So two diamonds, or three diamonds each for each of these little mini shops, which I don't think anybody's bought anything here. Only service I've gotten was Aiden, and he bought this shop over here on a discount, which he still hasn't stocked up. Over here is my money maker. This is Bullseye. Which, uh, that right there is my spirit block, the target. A little Spartan automation in this world. There's a peasant still grinding manually for most of my Minecraft gear. Uh, over here we have clearances and mega clearance outside the store. So you can just easily come on by. Oh, what's this? One diamond for an entire row of the chest. And look at, look at these deals. An entire row of carrots. You could get an entire row of stone brick slabs if you're crazy. A stack of block of blocks of quartz, which is a crazy deal. Crossbow, eight stacks of arrows. Bow and eight stacks of arrows. Now here is the main shop, Bullseye. So if you look inside of this lectern... Welcome to Bullseye! We have the cheapest prices in town for the things that you need. You can see a list of our stock and prices on the next page. Here we have the rocks category. Cobblestone, five stacks for a diamond. Stone, three stacks for a diamond. Smooth stone, two stacks for a diamond. For andesite, diorite, and granite, it's three stacks for just one diamond. Uh, I won't go into detail of all the other pricings, but here we have metals. Redstone, redstone continued, decoration, which this is where the dyes are, and also bone blocks, which I am fully stocked on. Here we sell wood, which we have very, very low stock on. We just have a couple stacks of logs. We don't even have stock on bark yet. And then we also sell mending books. That's our money maker. And then, of course, a free hat with every purchase, because for some reason I wasted a bunch of emeralds on a leather worker. So, let's check and see if we have any sales. We've never made a rock sale. I think somebody might have bought iron once. Hmm. Any bone block sales? I'm kind of surprised. I'm selling these for kind of cheap. Alright, any dye sales? Wool sales? Nope. Somebody has to have bought dispensers or droppers. Nope. Also, I'm selling dispensers for mega cheap. Half a stack for three diamonds. And if we if we made any sales, it would be on mending. Nope. Hmm. Well, all right. Oh, and also this is a newer store. This is well, it was Hacky Tub's auction house, but I think they're repurposing it. And also, the mayoral campaign is supposed to be going on right now, but I haven't seen anybody start running for mayor. Also, just off there in the distance, we have Dean's house. And I would show you uh, one of the Coalition's base areas, but um, uh, they're like thousands of blocks out. I'm not a fan of carrots, though. Almost died from the low saturation of a golden carrot fighting skeletons once. Golden carrots have the best saturation in the game. Do you mean like the low amount of hunger bars they give? Alright, well, that concludes our tour. So, oh, actually, you know what? Well, what am I saying? We could just fly off in that direction. Because uh, the Coalition lives out here. Yeah, there's their portal. Oh, lag. There we are. Didn't there used to be snow here? Huh. Weird. 
Is this another one of Haunt's death chambers? Or... Oh, oh, I forgot. This is like a, um... This is a grandfather clock. You have Zycrypt's grave. And also, this is supposed to be a border, but they don't have enough red wool. I sell red wool, but they haven't bought any. And also red dye. Hero Jajafifi. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce that. Allies may pass through. I think I'm an ally. If I'm not, then I don't care. Um, I think this is Hacky Tub's house. Oh, hello there. Frank. I hear music coming from the bot that's a piano, and I also hear music coming from Doc. Oh, <laughs> it's piano. Nether portal. Well, I thought the nether portal was up here. Up there? That's Psycrypt and Haunt Space, I think. Alright. So that, I think, should conclude our tour. Go do some marketing. Put on a sign at their door about the red wool. You know what? That's not a bad idea. But, um... Once somebody starts running for mayor, I'm going to have to put all my marketing energy into helping somebody with their campaign. How often do most players play on Heart of Storm? Well, I think I've been the most active. Aiden used to be very active, but now it's mostly me and Doc. Like, so, at the beginning, the most active players were me, Aiden, and Zycrypt. Then Hacky Tub and AJ got kind of active. Aiden was still active. There was me, Aiden, and Doc, and now I think it's just me and Doc. Oh, look, another one of my roommates. Oh, hey, look at that. You got a new job. Why? Why do you keep switching jobs? Uh, he is a shepherd? Yeah. I don't see any sheep anywhere, but alright. Alright, well, yeah. That is the end of our tour. So, let's get back to work. Alright. I still gotta put away that flint steel, don't I? Well, I hear footsteps. Where? Oh, that looked like a creeper up there. It's just like a warped warp block. Uh, well, alright, yeah, let's go and get up that black stone, which we will definitely be running out of soon. There we are. An entire row of black stone. Let's put that in the crafting grid. Perfect amount of polished black stone. And... Auto scroller. Looks super funky whenever you look at it in F5. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Yeah. Looks super weird. Ah, dang it, another misplace. I'll have to go back to that with my pickaxe. So I can't wait to stop falling in that water. Alright, let's get out the pickaxe. Come here. Come on, auto-scroller. I think after this, after we do this area of the floor... What we'll do is we'll go gather some glass from our glass villager. And we'll 
almost sounds like the music's gotten quieter. Hold on, let me let me turn it back up. There we are. So, depending on how much we get done today, I might go ahead and do that gold farm thing next stream. I'll figure out my own design. Or, semi my own design. I'll, I'll research on it. And then I'll... I may or may not do creative world testing first. Also, I just realized it is getting dark. And that is scary. So we'll hope that we don't get blown up by a creeper. Ooh. Yeah, well, let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead and sleep and hope that we don't die. Come on, sleep faster, sleep faster. It's been fun hanging uh, it's fun it's been fun hanging out, but I have some adulting to do. Have a blessed day, Doc and Son. Well thank you. Uh uh, Cabo to Reaper. Uh, have a good day. Dang it, another misplace. So, did I see a Creeper over there? No? Huh, alright. Oh, I missed a spot. There we are. All right, let's get out of the pickaxe again. There we are. Just like four more rows to go. Will this be enough materials to finish this off? Oh boy, already running out of some of the rows. Escape. There we are. I did it in the right order this time. I got out of my inventory before turning on the auto scroll. Almost there. Come on, resources. You can do it. Oh, you've already run out of a row. Or, or another, uh, another slot. I don't know why I said row. Ah, there was another one. Uh, there. Come on, we're so close. We can do this. This has got to be enough resources. Ah. Oh, dang it, didn't wrong order again. I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, and they're in a slot with polished blackstone. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. Ah! <laughs> yeah, just enough resources. Check that out. A new floor. Looking snazzy. Put that stuff in there. And let's go grab some glass. And for now, our method of glass gathering is very boring. Because not only have we not found a suitable sand biome, but um, uh, the, these villagers, uh, they don't trade enough. And we only have one glass villager. So... What we have to do is break all this sugar cane, turn it into paper, sell that for emeralds, and then use those emeralds to buy glass. And Aiden actually has a sugar cane farm, but he doesn't let me use it. I even offered to pay. Well, 
I guess that's just business. I have plans for my own automatic sugarcane farm though, so that shouldn't be a problem in the future, especially since I'll also have a big trading hall. Which should hopefully have multiple glass selling villagers, at least two. How about let's go and break the entire road sugarcane first before we jump in the water and grab it. I might want to turn up the music again. It's not very uh, loud. Like the sugarcane is completely drowning out the music. Let's turn that up a little bit again. There we are. Hopefully that'll help. <laughs> yeah, sure, rain is loud. Actually, anything in Minecraft is loud if you do it fast enough. Alright, there we go. Oh, that looked really weird from a distance, the melons with their stems. We should also probably harvest these and uh, give them to our farmer that's up there in the breeder. Except, of course, this axe doesn't have silk touch on it yet, so melons will be tough. Wait, I, did the sheep system get stuck again? I swear. Stop breaking. Got to replace this with a with an observer system. I mean, I guess both of those are temporary farms anyways. I'll probably have a more efficient version of both of those in the area of my base that's going to have the sugarcane farm. Ah, uh, dang it, of course I broke a wrong piece of sugar cane. And there we go, it's all harvested. Now we just gotta collect it. Ah, what was that weird lag spike? Yeah, if only the uh, swimming mechanics on Java were like how they were on Bedrock. That's one of the only things Bedrock gets better. They have better swimming mechanics, because you can do the uh, fast swimming, even in uh, a thing of water that's only one block high. Alright, paper time. Alright, let's see how many emeralds this gets us. And I think we also have some extra emeralds, don't we? Let's see. Uh, no. No, we do not. Ah, what was that? No, we do not. Alright, uh, wait, are you the... I don't think you're the Menning Villager. You're the Menning Villager. Alright. Yeah, discount. And I've given him too much paper. Alright, yeah, that's a good haul. 23 emeralds. Alright, let's go and buy stuff from the glass guy. Oh, you're the glass guy. Yeah, I can only get 48 glass at a time. That's crazy. Crazy bad. 
Right, have to head to bed, work, enjoy the rest of your stream. Uh, thank you, Inspirational. Have a good night. Have you refreshed your trades yet? No. Now. No? How about now? No. Ah! I need another villager that can trade for glass. Also, the music is loud now. Come on. Music, have consistent volume, please. Oh, more XP. Thank you. How about we'll go get some ink sacks? Since I can trade those for emeralds. Imagine if you could experience kinetic energy in water whenever you're whenever you're wearing the uh, elytra. Here we go, pack of squids. Come here. There we go. Is that all? Oh, here's one. Come here. Why are you in the wall? Stop being illegal. All right, 16 ink sacks. It should be enough for, uh, I think, 12 or 13 emeralds. Yeah, look at all the villagers just hanging around. I'm gonna have to find a way to take care of those. All right, give me emeralds. Okay, can I buy more glass now? No? How about now? No? Okay, what if I sleep? Uh, that was a good rest. Alright, give me glass now. No? Seriously? Okay, you. Uh, I, I need to get you to do a glass trade. Sir. Which means I need more paper. and I, I don't have more paper. I might have more paper. Let's go check. Yeah, I got a little more. Yeah, I, I might even buy some lanterns from this guy just to level him up to see if he'll <laughs> treat any glass. Ah, he still won't let me buy glass. Alright, then you. First of all, that. There, nine lanterns. Are you satisfied? Give me glass. Yes! Yes! He sells glass! Do you sell glass now? No. Okay, well, we have double glass production. Okay, okay. We're gaining speeds. Ah, what's the lag again? Alright, let's just go get more squidos. Ah, there's one. Come here. Wah! Oh, there's some more. Come here. Whoa! Come here. Oop. What? You didn't die from that. Alright, last one, I think. There might be another. I need a better way to get emeralds. <laughs> I need to make a raid farm. And I also need more villagers that will trade glass. Buy my ink sacks. Oh, hey, already you refreshed that. Nice. Back up to 26 emeralds. More glass. 
All right, yeah, this is the way to repair a pickaxe. More glass, come here. All right, oh, this guy upgraded for me buying glass. Fun. We got three stacks of glass, let's go, boys. Uh, can I buy more? Yes, I can. Thank you, sir. Okay, we need to get more emeralds. All right, more squid genocide it is. Come here. Come here. Come here. You know, I wonder if I'll make a squid farm in the future. Series might be over before that happens, though. All right. Dang it, let me sell more insects. Let me out of here. Don't break the crop. No! <sighs> of course. Huh, I wonder why the game lagged whenever I broke the crafting table. Off to see you go! Bye-bye. Alright, we're gonna have to go around. Here we are. So, now that we have all those ink sacks, we'll let's put away the... There we are. Do I have more ink sacks over here? Two. Well, that works. Give me that XP! Said, give me that XP! Oh. Emeralds! You there, sir! Give me glass! Uh. Okay, well, I can't sell you any more ink sacks. I don't want to do five for an emerald. That's way too expensive. Dang it, I, I have more glass I can buy. So let me, let me give you ink sacks, man. Come on. Come on. I want to sell these. Please, all the others are doing their things. Who are you and why are you here? Die. <laughs> what, are you pushing me? Rude. I wasn't in your way at all. Buddy, what are you doing? Please let me sell these ink sacks. Hmm. I might have to harvest stuff and sell it to that man up there. These guys don't refresh their trades! I swear! Even this guy sells ink sacks. He's actually got a discount. Not as good as this one though. One ink sack for an emerald! Hmm. Let's just leave these guys. They're dumb. Let's just go work on the base. Let's put this glass on the base. I 
Oh, I forgot. I was going to do research on whether string can, uh, if mobs can spawn on string. Because if they can't, then what I could do is just put string all over the top of all that stuff, all the bricks. Oh, this is actually covering a decent amount of ground. Or should I say roof? Because the, the ground's down there. Ah, this thing, this thing's so pretty, without the uh, without all the edges on it. Optifine is working a treat. And rot of glass. All right, let's let's go see if our boys refresh their trades. Please, please refresh your trades. Are you, are you serious? I just, I just, I, 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 I. Dang it! If only villagers were like people in math problems. Bought crazy amounts of stuff for no reason. I was about to just put a bed down out here, but I mean, my bed's in here. Get out of my bed! This is mine. Hey, no, no, no. Go sleep on the floor. This ain't your house. Alright, villagers. Have you refreshed your ink sack trades? Gotta zombify some of these other villagers, because the mending one's the only one I have that zombified, so he's the only one with a good deal. <sighs> Sir, please. Alright, is the sugar cane grown? No. Nope. Well, I, I guess we're kind of stuck then. Maybe, maybe we should go gather some other kind of material. Maybe we should uh, steal off one of the walls. Get the materials for that first. I think we need a bit more andesite. We just need like a bit more than a row. Actually, I think we just need a row of andesite. That's all we need to be able to finish off the last wall. But then we'll need more... We might have enough basalt. I'm not sure. We might have enough basalt to finish off the uh, wallpapers, too. Have you refreshed your trade? No? Alright, yeah. We'll, we'll just go work on something else, then. We ain't just gonna sit here all stream. Can I... Can I get in my house? Thank you. Now get out. <laughs> oh, you're back. All right. Put away that sugar cane. Put away the paper. Oh, and these lanterns. Get rid of those two. Oh, I remember. I gave my other lanterns to a uh, hacky tub. All right, yeah. Let's uh, let's go check on our building supply. Oh, 
that's gravel. Here we are. Alright, yeah, we just need, like, a few more stacks of andesite. And, oh! The salt count is also low. So I guess we'll get a little bit more andesite, finish off that wall. And then we'll end up having to go to the nether. I guess before we go and mine, uh, what, 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 wait a minute. What happened up here? Some, something looks off. I think I'm just being dumb, though. Yeah, I'm just being dumb. All right, buy my ink sacks. Thank you. I put them away. Oh. Uh! All right, come here, Exax. We've got work to do. XP. Wait, that was all my emeralds? Huh. Weird. Oh, hey, you're buying ink sacks. Glass. There we go. We got an entire stack of glass now. We'll go and place that down. I got like really stressed out whenever I misplaced that glass because I forgot that I have silk touch From the old days, I'm so used to not having silk touch stuff By the old days, I mean like the old old days on like the legacy console edition All right, yeah, let's go ahead and grab that andesite now Into the mine we go! Ouch. Did I just hit that lantern? Gosh. Man, I felt that in my head whenever I hit that. Alright, let's go andesite hunting. I hear skeleton. I guess we'll use this pickaxe. Ah, stop the lag spikes. Oh, well, would you look at that? There's some andesite right there. Ah! Oh. Uh. You know. <laughs> Let's just. Let, 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 yeah. Let, let, let's let's not do this. Uh, oh boy. Uh. How am I gonna get out of here? There we are. Yeah, we'll just, uh... <laughs> well, I'll just leave that. Oh yeah, I forgot to have the thing on with Optifine where... Whenever you have a light source in your hands, it actually lights up the area around you. Uh, 
Oh, I get really excited because I thought those were diamonds. Gets me every dang time. We gotta find some andesite. Oh, I was wondering what that was down there. Skeleton with uh, an enchanted chain chest plate. And full chain armor. Not anymore. Now it's a dead skeleton. Yeah, I don't really want that stuff. There's some andesite. Uh, that's that's gravel. <laughs> I was about to say coal. I mean, I guess there is coal. Uh, let's take care of that by eliminating it. Uh, let's get rid of that too. And not much to see here. Also, this is out of range of the beacon. Come on, don't tell me I've gotten rid of almost all the andesite in the area. There's no way. Lots of iron ore around here. Decide around here. Come on. Come on, I just I just need a little bit. Even one vein could probably work. Lapis or I seriously gotta sell lapis. I got so much of it. Get out of here, man! Yeah, I guess there's andesite down here, just no beacon. This thing is completely filled. Hmm. 
How about we'll run back here, get some haste, and then run back. Oh, hey, slime. All right, haste, now run for it. Speed! Well, that's a good amount of andesite. Now all that's left is a little bit of remains. Oh, I guess there's a good amount up there. throw out ah, granite there we are uh, oh there's a bit more there's a lot more I ain't complaining though Was that it? I think that was it. it for real this time. Yep. Alright, how much how much insight we got from that? Two sacks of twenty-five? <laughs> yeah. Let's go ahead and also I think off camera I I started to uh, fill a shulker box with oak logs. Which is nice. Put our mining materials in there. Hey, where did I get that lapis? I'm sure that I never mind a lapis ore with my uh, fortune pick. Huh. Wait, nope. I don't need that stone. Alright, let's see if we can find any ant sign on the ceiling, because I usually miss it when it's up there. I have an idea there was ant sign on the ceiling here. Originally. Come on! And sight. Ah, wow, that's hurting my eyes a little bit, goodness. Hey, here we are. A two. Two. One, two, three. I'm not liking those numbers. Hey, at least I'm finding something. Now that I'm looking on the ceiling. Andesite really blends in with the rest of the stone. Here's some. Oh, and there's also some on the floor. Wait. Is this Aiden's skeleton farm area? No? Ah, it's, that's over there. All right, we should be fine. And then a couple pieces up there. Well, it wasn't much, but it was it's a good amount. We're almost at three stacks now.
Uh, yeah, here we go. Here's a good patch of andesite. I I hear some lava, which is kind of oh that that city and scared me goodness. Oh, I think that's where the lava noises are coming from. Oh, goodness. All right. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Oh, hey, we almost have four stacks now. I think we might have enough to finish off that last wall. Let's just see if we can find one more patch just to be safe. Then we'll build that final wall. Are we not close enough to the beacon? Huh. Oh well. I'm gonna take my time. Yeah, there we go. We almost got five stacks now. And now we should have... Yep, more than five stacks. Alright, yep, let's head back up now. Build that final wall. Ouch! Oh, goodness! First time I've ever successfully done that. Uh, I guess you could say that was successful. Woo! Alright, yeah, let's grab the rest of that andesite. Uh, let's put some stuff in the storage system. Uh, that's as much as it can hold right now. Here we go, and we'll keep some extras. Three extra stacks. Get some of our stone. And grab three extra stacks. Moment of truth, guys. The final wall. Now people from the outside world won't be able to walk in. So now that we're back to the uh, grindy work, uh, what, what you what you guys in chat want to talk about? 
What do you guys got on your mind? Oh, did I fall down? Oh, that was weird. Holding shift. And now, the outside world is completely sealed off to the point that people can't parkour in. Of course, they could just build in, but, yeah. Well, we might have to make, an, like, a proper entrance somewhere for the floor. Because for me, I'm just planning on getting in by flying through the middle up there up top. Yeah, my base will be too technolo technologically advanced for all the other members other than Aiden. It's pretty much the only one that could handle this base. No! Wait, no, not auto scroll. No, not escape. There we are. Oh, hey, we're almost at the top already. Yeah, after we finish this wall, we will be ending off the stream. Been a fun time, guys. Uh, giving you guys a tour. Place down those blocks fast. Oh, we still gotta get rid of those bridges that John did. Like, seriously, it's like a teething puppy. Like, we... He wants to practice bridging, and I... We just can't stop him from doing it. So that, uh, yeah, if, if you're wondering before, that's why there's all of these weird cobblestone things out there. I didn't put those there. <laughs> I gotta take those down. Oh, another thing we gotta fill back up. Oh, hey, uh, after this layer, it'll just be one more before we are at the roof. So, yeah, we definitely got enough materials. Oop. And, ah, keep on clicking escape. More stone there. Alright, last layer. Eh, keep on running out of stuff in some of the slots. Whoop. There we go, now it's all even out and we shouldn't have to replace anything more.
There we go. And just like that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. That is all of the outside walls finished. So now if you fly up here. Well, other than the top, we still have to finish up the top of them. But we need wallpaper on them to do that. Look at that. From the outside, this is pretty much what it's going to look like. Other than this top part. Yeah, we, we still need to put the stone bricks up on top here. But anyways, everybody, that is going to be the end of this live stream. So, let me see if we can get ourselves a person to host. All right, let's see who we got live right now. We got Raiseworks. Uh, slice lime. I think we're going to host Raiseworks. So let me just go ahead and load this up, get past the ad. Come on. Come on, ad. All right, let me go ahead and put his channel link there. Right now, he is on the Prototech SMP, looks like. So yeah, we're going to be hosting Raiseworks. So I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all next stream. Bye-bye.